this chapter is very confusing. Some verses are wisdom. Most forgets free will. Chapter could be used by the arrogant to confuse followers. MPR 210 There is none other like unto the one God and all his glory. Whose strength can challenge him? Whose will can contend with his will? Whose might can equal his? Where is another with his wisdom? Who in goodness can compare with him? MPR 2.11 By the power of his thoughts, many kingdoms are brought forth beyond earth. He speaks the unutterable word, and they are created. He rules his creatures with infinite wisdom, and directs their destinies with unchallengeable decrees. His will controls the forces within men, and the thing they seek unknowingly is him. As the body, when hungry, is filled with the urge to eat, and when thirsty, with the urge to drink, so is the spirit in man filled with the urge to seek God. Nice words. A bit dogmatic. I find flowery speech to be rather useless. Although, as I said, they do have value. They can inspire, but... And they can also fool others with the ideal you must not think for yourself. Just go with the flow. It is verse 211 that I have the most problem with. God is not a punishing God. To believe that is to think too rigidly. The bad things that happen on earth is not God's will. It is the society's inability to balance society's need for conformity and the individual's need for following the path God has chosen. It is rigidity that should be feared on both sides, and that is what this verse screams out to me. It implies you should follow out of fear, and God doesn't want blind followers, or he would never have given us free will. He wants followers, not blind obedience. It's humanity that wants conformity. They need the deception of others doing as they do to believe it is their path. That is the true path. People that talk in fear or fearful, they might be wrong, and they take comfort in surrounding themselves with people that will follow. If they see too many that will not follow and are happy, this will exacerbate the fear that they are wrong, that God will not be there with a cookie and a pat on the head for obedience.